I had four legs, the one that didn't hit was Tyreek Hill. 80 receiving yards. I thought it was the Stephon Diggs touchdown that was sort of the winky wonky wobbly one, but it was uh, Tyreek who couldn't get it done because the Dolphins couldn't get it done, right? The offense was the story of last week. The Bills stole the show on Sunday and they said, no, 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 not in our AFC East where Belichick's the worst coach in the AFC East, apparently, if you look at Twitter. Um, they It's a 48-20 just routing of Miami and we got to start with the love for friend of the show, Josh Allen, and the whole Bills offense because I got to say, this is as sharp as I've ever seen Josh Allen play. Really, 21 of 25, 304 yards, four touchdowns, three of them to Stephon Diggs, who he could not be stopped. Zayvon Howard, hello, anyone? Bueller, Bueller. I thought Josh found the perfect balance of knowing when to take shots, when to push the ball downfield, and when to just take what you had underneath you, kid. And he did it. Listen, roughest possible start ever against the Jets, and I loved this for them because I thought this is going to light a fire under them. And that cover boy... With, with the Marvel girlfriend, like you, he's going to have a bad loss here, bright light, and that's going to be the best thing for this team, okay? There were all those turnovers last year, but now he's just gotten better and better every week. That's all I want to see. So huge credit to Ken Dorsey for a new approach. Credit to Josh for the discipline in accepting and adapting that new approach. I'm not kidding. This is the best I've ever seen him. And I forgot to mention what he did on the ground, too. This, I mean, this stuff sounds stupid. What? You can see how much having this type of a performance against the Dolphins meant to him personally. So that's as fired up as I've ever seen him. I don't know if that's like a seven, they scored 70 points last week thing, but the Bills scored on eight separate drives, people. And their only three, three and out came at the end of the game. So a masterclass performance, best performance of the week, in my opinion, was by Josh Allen and this team. And the defense, by the way, complete win. They gave up scores on the Dolphins' first two drives of the game, so I was like, oh, this is going to be quite a game. And then they only allowed six points the rest of the game. So Sean McDermott, definitely a more uh, aggressive defensive play caller. That's been huge. And these Bills linebackers and these safeties, they made things really tough for Tua in the middle of the field where he likes to operate. So Dolphin side, <sighs> what's everyone saying about the Dolphins? Bills made the Dolphins go MIA. All right, that's a cute little Monday joke. Let's see. How do I – I can never close these – Polls. Okay, got it. Um, Bills can't beat the Niners. I don't know. If the Bills play like that, don't tell me they can't beat the Niners. I think they, that, that, that's a game I want to see. Um, Josh L. will be fumbling again next week. Ernie, go away. We don't want to hear that kind of BS from you, Ernie. We're trying to be positive here. Um, Joseph, is that my suit jacket? Listen, I didn't have quite the, uh, a long time this morning to figure things out, and this is just what I'm wearing. I want to talk about the Dolphin side. Do you guys have Dolphins takes? Hit me up. We're going to have Taylor Luan on the show. We're going to get to all of that. Um, listen, on the Dolphin side of things, I, I feel like everyone, when anything goes wrong, everyone just puts it on Tua. And I think that that's not super fair. And the offense clearly didn't play its best game, but this loss had a lot to do, and really more to do with the Dolphins' defense than anything else. And, and if you look back to last year, can't you say the same thing? Like a lot of the losses were because of the defense. Everything's got to go, especially in that division, especially in the game against the Bills, right? Uh, every time they're on the field, like, you know, with the Dolphins yesterday, puts, or, or I, oh, hold on, I'm lost in my notes here. You're lost in your notes, I'm lost in my notes. Let's get back on track. Okay. Um, I, this is the full screen, yes. This is what we want to show you. Okay. Um, when your defense is giving up points like this, take a look at this. And maybe getting Jalen Ramsey back in December will give them a big boost for the stretch run. But all I know is right now they have to play a lot better than yesterday if they're going to make it in the AFC, okay? I still think they're capable of making it to Vegas. I want to see them in Vegas. That would be super fun. But there's a lot of work to be done. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest Up and Adams content right on YouTube.